So then today we are going to learn class 12 NCRT example number problem number 11.1 uh, uh, which is from the photoelectric effect okay. Uh, the problem is given in the question uh, it is a uh, 60 into 10 power plus 14 uh, hertz. So based on the unit we can come to know this is frequency. Uh, one by time period we will be having frequency or uh, second inverse also frequency or hertz it is a frequency. The next one 2 into 10 power minus 3 watt is given which is going to be the power. Okay. Now the question is uh, the first question is what is the energy? Second question is number of photon is emitting. Okay. Uh, this two is very simple question. So energy is equal to H frequency. H is the Planck constant, F is the frequency. Planck constant, constant value uh, which is they will be given this value is in a question paper. So 6.63 .63 into 10 power minus 34. Frequency, how much frequency? No, uh, it's given actually 6 uh, into 10 power 14, 6.0 into 10 power 14. You can take it as 6 into 10 power 14. Uh, it is energy, so energy unit will be uh, it is the joules. Just we have to multiple this two, okay? So, what is the two terms we have to multiple? No, uh, 6.63 into 6. This two we have to multiple, then we should do with the power 10 power minus 34 plus 14. This will get answer as a 10 power uh, minus 20. Okay, this 2 multiplication what we will get? 18, uh, 36, 37, uh, 36, 37, uh, 36 uh, plus 3, 39. So, 2 decimal is there, 39.78. Okay, uh, the next step we will get 39.78 into 10 power minus 20 joules. So, what I am going to do now, I am going to move this side one decimal, okay. So, see here what I am doing, 39.78 into 10 power minus 1, just I want, I am included. Same you can include with 10 power plus 1, into 10 power minus 20 joules. So, you can include plus and minus, this actually this answer will be 1. So, this together I will get as a 3.978. This together I will get as a minus 20 plus 1, I will get as a minus 19 joule. So, energy as a this much I got, okay. Uh, so, this is a value is given, I solved according to the uh, book how the value is going to be, okay. Uh, the next one, number of photon is emitting per unit time is question mark, okay. Power is equal to energy by time, energy by time. 1 by time period, what is 1 by time period? 1 by time period is going to be the frequency or number of photon emitting per unit time. So, this I am taken 1 by time period as a n, okay. n times of E is equal to P. So, they asked what is the number of photon emitting per unit time. So, n is equal to p divided by e. Power is 2 into 10 power minus 3. Then, uh, energy is we found 3.98 into 10 power minus 19. This approximately 4 equal to 4. This is going to be cancelled. 1 divided by 2 will be there. Okay, 1 divided by 2 will have 0 0.5. So, the next step 1 divided by 2 into 10 power Numerator is minus 3, denominator minus 19 from denominator if you are taken as numerator is going to become as plus 19. So, this solution will get 10 power minus 3 plus 19, the answer will be plus 16, 1 by 2 is going to be 0 0.5. So, this calculation I will get as a 0 0.5 into 10 power minus plus 16. So, 1 decimal if you want to move is going to be 5 into 10 power plus 15. So, we found n value, number of photon emitting per unit time. So, there is no unit for it. It is a n value. Okay. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Okay. If you want all the example problem, see in a playlist. Thank you. Thank you very much.